Welcome back to Page Gross Design and day two of Dollar Tree Halloween Hacks. Today's project is a bat with a bloody eyeball. The bats come from Dollar Tree without the bloody eyeball. And I'm going to show you how to paint a bloody eyeball from a one inch wood ball. So for this project, you need the bats from Dollar Tree, uh, one inch wood balls, white paint, black paint, bright red paint, a deep bloody maroon paint, uh, a fluorescent orange, and a 10 knot liner brush, and a zero liner brush. So to start out the project, you'll paint your white, your one inch wood balls white, which I've already done. And then we're going to paint the bright red in a circle. And that's what I use my zero brush for. If you have like a two inch round, that works too. And what I discovered is uh, you really need to let these dry because the, the balls are so small that you end up smudging it all over, which since we're going to make it bloodshot isn't a horrible failure, but it is easier and less messy to let them dry in between. And for that reason, I have some ready already. So after you've painted the red circle, the iris of the eye, you're gonna put in the pupil with black. Once you, that's dried a little bit, I'm going to take your 10 knot liner brush, dampen the brush so that your black paint, dip it in the black paint so that it's really nice and fluid, sort of like ink. And I'm just going to come out from that center, radiate like a sunburst, but with just little fine lines. And once you've done that, we have one of us ready. take a bright fluorescent orange or in my case I have a fluorescent orange enamel pen sort of in between the, the black lines and that mixed outer band. I'm just going to add some brightness. Just like that. Now you'll take that dark bloody maroon acrylic paint or in my case again another enamel marker. Just gonna go along this outer edge. This will give you a chance to if your circle wasn't quite round. Clean up that edge. I 
ideally, I'm going to want to let this dry before you stick it in the bat's mouth. Because if it is very tight, they're going to hold really well. In my case, I'm not going to uh, glue mine in at all. You probably could use a little bit of um, hot glue. But like I said, it sticks in there really nicely. And now we are going to make that eyeball slightly bloodshot. That, that's where the extender comes in. You can take the extender and the bright red paint. I'm gonna come in just around. Just sort of like how that the blood's running down over that eyeball. But if you don't want it to look like that, you just come up, clean off the brush a little bit, and pat it with the brush. Dry that brush off with a little bit of towel. starting to get festive. Happy Halloween. Thanks for joining me and come back tomorrow.